A hepatitis C infection scandal exposes the lack of regulation for fill-in medical technicians in Maryland. There's now a call for action after thousands of patients are exposed to a life-threatening virus. WJZ Investigates live right now. Mike Calgren spoke to one man who says he's now infected with hepatitis C and who has a warning for other patients. Mike? And Vic, he questions whether red flags were missed and whether state health regulators are doing enough to check out all hospital workers. That's me when I served in Vietnam. Veteran Linwood Nelson is living with hepatitis C, a dangerous virus that could destroy his liver. He believes a traveling technician, David Kwiatkowski, infected him at Baltimore's VA Medical Center. Federal prosecutors say Kwiatkowski was a drug addict with the virus who went from hospital to hospital, injecting himself with syringes meant for patients, then replacing them and spreading the illness. He has to live with that for the rest of his life also, what he has done to so many people. What disturbs and Nelson, the state does little to regulate traveling hospital technicians like Kwiatkowski. A contractual worker can walk in with the same duties as an employee and not be checked out. That doesn't make sense to me. More than 160 patients here at the VA are believed to have contact with Kwiatkowski and more than 1,800 at hospitals across Maryland. He worked at Maryland General Hospital, Johns Hopkins, and Southern Maryland Hospital, as well as the VA. I know now what has happened to me, and I wouldn't want that to happen to anyone else. New court records show when FBI agents finally caught up with Kwiatkowski, he was suicidal, admitting he lied to a lot of people, but said, I'm more concerned about myself. I think that's a very selfish person, however, that's the thought process of a drug addict evidently. Know who's dealing with you, know what their credentials are, and don't be afraid to ask questions. That's your body. You own it. And hospitals have offered testing to those exposed. As for Kwiatkowski, he is in federal custody right now. He faces 24 years in prison, and his lawyers have declined to comment. Reporting live, Mike Helgren, WJZ Eyewitness News. Vic? Mike, thank you. Several hospitals are already tightening their screening procedures for fill-in staffers. Maryland health officials are investigating regulations and expect to get recommendations on tightening them next year.